So uh, you may not see me, if you get the recording, you might see me come back and forth, but you'll get at least most of the exercises. Please take care of yourself. If you have any injuries and limitations, modify as necessary. I'll give you some modifications. Um, but you know, if you need to opt out of something, it's totally fine, good to go. And I think that's everything I need to say, so we'll just start, start getting moving. I am gonna put my teacher glasses to the side, but I might pop them back on just to see you, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Today is gonna be a 30 minute class. Um, at the end of class, we'll talk a little bit, and I might be able to extend this out a little bit more, which is great. So you're gonna face either direction on your mat, and you're gonna have your feet width of your mat, your hands will be behind you. So right now, this is where you're gonna be. I'm gonna face you so you can see this a little bit better. So we're just gonna do some internal external rotation with the legs. So you're gonna to go to one side, one hip might come off, and then gonna to go to the other side. Yeah, and then keep going from side to side here. Adjusting your arms as necessary. Maybe they need to be further back. Maybe you need to bend your elbows. The arms do not need to be straight. We're just trying to get the hips to be a little bit more mobile, probably because we're sitting quite a lot more than we have been, right? All right, so I think someone's still on. Keep that going. I'm gonna see who that might be. And if I'm gonna see if I can mute a couple people are not muted, that's okay. It's me learning experience, keep this going. All right. All right, I think everyone's muted now. Fantastic. All right, so either direction, however you wanna go, you're gonna stop at one side. Oh, someone's coming into the waiting room. Sorry guys, here we go. This is how it's gonna go. <laughs> You're gonna sit to one side and you stay to one side. One forearm's gonna come down to the mat. This uh, bent leg that's externally rotated is gonna be a little bit more bent in. This top arm's gonna come forward. You might have a rug, so this may not be very smooth. That's okay, you're gonna just swing the leg forward as the arm comes back. And you're gonna swing the opposite direction. And swing, so you're just getting some hip mobility here. Yeah? Very nice. Keep this going. Welcoming. Hello, Suzanne, you're back. I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> Excellent. And so we're just gonna swing. Uh, let's go ahead and stop with the arm overhead, leg behind you. Hold here, I'm gonna move my arm, you stay there. This bottom leg, or top leg is bent. Tallest boots, so you can open up that hip. You're opening up the chest as well. And breathe. As this arm swings back, it's going to swing back behind you. This leg just comes up. You're going to come back to that original starting position. Other form goes down. Other leg bends into that external rotation. Arm comes forward, and we'll swing to the other side. So opposite. So it's like a scissor, if you can. You might think of it a little bit of an inhibited windmill, perhaps. Yeah. And just getting some mobility in the hip socket. Yep, and then we'll pause and hold. This arm stays up, my arm's gonna move. You're gonna keep this glute tone, press that pubic bone forward, opening up the hip, opening up the chest. Yeah, maybe you'll see the ceiling, maybe you'll see the side of the room, maybe you wanna look down, all good. Now swing this arm back, come back to your original starting position, we'll go to the other side again, and here we go. We're gonna swing for four. Four, three, two, one, stay in that open position for a moment. Get that extra stretch. Looking down, sideways, or up. Come back to that original position, switch to the other side. Here we go for four. Four, three, getting the body warm. Two, shoulders down. One, open, keep that glute toned. And breathe, and coming back to original starting. Awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and now come onto all fours. So hands and knees, to start off with. Shoulders over the wrist, wide fingers, knees underneath the hips. Stick the booty out a little bit, so try not to dump into the spine. So it's just a little neutral spine relative to the mat. Right, so head in line with the shoulders. Yeah, a little curve in the lower back, doesn't have to be very big at all. From here, all you need to do is just curl that tailbone under, drop the head around the lower and upper spine. You're gonna inhale to arc the spine, back of the head with the tailbone, tailbone towards the back of the head. And again, exhale, hollow up and over, drop the head, curl the tailbone. 
and then inhale to arc back the head toward the tailbone, tailbone toward the back of the head. And again, exhale, curl, drop, round. Now as you arc, back of the head toward the tailbone, tailbone towards the back of the head, still scoop that belly in for support. Try not to crank that neck back. And again, curl, and then arc. And curl, yep, and arc. Find yourself back to neutral. So shoulders over the wrists, knees underneath the hips. From here, keeping the pelvis and spine relatively neutral, drift forward from your wrist. So shoulders come forward, but the spine doesn't really change, nor does the pelvis, and rock back slightly behind the wrist. So you're gonna get more weight into the front of the hands, and then more weight to the back of the hands. And this is initiated from the shoulder girdle, pelvis, spine, thighs, just go for a little bit of a ride. Forward and back here. Yup. Come back to the center. Now I'm going to press more into one hand. I'm going to shift to one side. Again, spine, pelvis, thighs. Just go for a ride. Switch the other side. So press into the other hand. So you're just working on a weight distribution. Feel what it feels like to shift from side to side. Right? So you can actually, in a moment, find that center line. From here, we're going to go ahead and shift to one side. Your choice. You're going to come forward and around. So you're going to make little circles. Forward and around, making circles. Yeah, again, spine, pelvis, thighs, just go for that ride. This is initiated from the shoulder girdle. Arms are strong, hands are firmly planted. Make any adjustments as you need. Let's go ahead and switch the other side. So if your knees are sensitive, maybe pad the knees. Maybe get an extra blanket. Maybe take a break. It's all good. We're just trying to get some movement. Yeah, and then come back to the center here. Let's go ahead and curl the tailbone around the spine and just sit your booty back down. Little child's pose. For a moment. Mm-hmm. Getting the float right back over your wrist. Let's incorporate that a little bit. So, find neutral, you're gonna curl the tailbone, drop the head, send the booty down towards the heels. Keeping that round the spine, come forward and then retrace back to neutral. And again, curl the tail and drop the head. Send the booty back towards the heels. And coming forward, retrace right back down to neutral. And again, curl, drop, round. Booty down towards the heels. Coming right back up. Find neutral. Here we go. And again, curl, round. And this time, you're going to stay for a little bit longer here. Just pressing the mat with those hands or not. Your choice. Shoulders down. Breathe. Good. Come back to that all fours position, please. We're going to work on stability here. Find that relative neutral. Pelvis parallel to the ground, ears in line with the shoulders, head in line with the spine. From here, without too much shifting, because we've already experienced that, you're going to reach that right arm forward in line with the ear. So you might want to try to shift to the side, try to stay in the center. Bring that hand right back underneath. Left arm reaches forward in line with the ear. Stabilize. Scoop the belly in. Bring that hand right back down. Right leg sends out behind you, so it's going to be approximately parallel to the ground. So try not to tip the hip up, keep the glute engaged, hamstring engaged, bring that knee right back underneath the hip. Left leg stretches out, parallel to the ground. Bring it right back in, starting with the left arm. Left arm stretches forward. Bring it right back. Right arm stretches forward. Scoop that belly in. Bring it back. Left leg extends out behind you, parallel to the ground. Glutes and hamstrings firing strong. Bring it back in. Right leg. Stretches out behind you, glute and hamstrings kicking in. Bring it back in. Here we go. Adding on. Right arm, left leg. Stabilize. Come back in. Left arm, right leg. In, back in. Right arm and left. And back in. Left arm and right. And back in. Here we go. Right arm and left and pause and balance. Hold here. Breathe. Let me see you. Awesome. If you need to place a hand down, it's totally fine with me. Maybe a foot down, but find that balance again. Just looking through the roster here. Looks good. Right, let's bring everything back down. And then left arm, right leg stretches out and pause the hold. Scoop the belly in. So it's tempting to kind of tip. Try to remain stable. Yeah. Breathe. Bring it back in. Right arm, left leg again. Stretches away. Balance. This one's going to be a slightly shorter. Bring it back in. Left arm, right leg. Stretches away. 
Bring it back in. Here we go. Right arm, left leg stretches away. Pause. Bring the right knuckles, back of the hand to the forehead so the elbow of the right is to the side. Left leg is out behind you. Little circles. From that left leg, try to remain stable. Glute hamstrings, kick in. Scoop that belly in. Reverse the circles. Circles are small. Yup. Pause with that leg. Stretch that right arm forward again. Bring the hand back down, knee back down. Left arm, right leg. Stretches away. Left knuckles go to the forehead. Left elbow to the side. Little circles from that right leg. Scoop, stabilize. Building some heat. Reverse. Stabilizing, small circles. Right, pause. Left arm reaches forward, left hand comes back down, right knee comes back down. Press yourself back to child's pose. Maybe toes together, knees apart, maybe legs in parallel. Find what works today. If child's pose is not available today, come to a cat pose, just like where we're at. I'm just trying to give you some relaxation for your wrist. You might roll them out a little bit. Or maybe just coming onto your heels. Sitting upright is better for you. So find what works for you. If your knees are sensitive, do what you need to do. Whether you're sitting onto your heels or you're in child's pose, you do the same thing. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, walk the hands over to the right. So if I'm sitting upright, this is what I'm going to do. If I'm back into child's pose, I'm going to walk my hands over to the right. Either way, I'm trying to open up the left side of the waist, left side of the ribs, and anchor my left sits bones down towards my left heel. Yeah, so I can do this here, maybe for those of us who are on our knees. Or maybe you can do a little side bend, yeah? Inhale in here, exhale, walk the hands up the center line. Inhale in here, exhale, walk the hands over to the left now. Open up the right side of the waist, right side of the ribs. Aim your right sits bones down toward your right heel. This is your option in child's pose. Maybe sitting, maybe one arm reaches over, maybe sit cross-legged, do the same thing. Lots of options, yeah? Deep inhale in here, exhale, walk the hands back to the center line. Inhale in here, exhale, you're going to start to roll yourself up to a seated position, either sitting onto your heels or standing on your knees if that works better for you. Just stack one back on top of the other. Awesome job. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to lie down on your back, head at either direction, knees are bent, feet flat. Yeah? So from here, all I want you to do is think about your thigh bones pointing straight out of the hip sockets, heels on out of the sits bones. Feet are pointing straight ahead, so functional parallel position with the feet and the legs. Yeah, and then you can go ahead and interlace your fingers, place the palms behind the skull. Elbows point slightly forward. So you just take a deep inhale in here, exhale, you're going to nod ahead, round the spine up to your bone, curl. Look towards your belly, or your thighs, or perhaps just over your knees. Try not to see the ceiling. Keep neutral position here. Inhale to hold for endurance. Exhale, round yourself right back down. Inhale in here, exhale again, nod ahead, round the spine up, abdominal curl. Yup. Inhale to hold. Exhale, round yourself right back down. Inhale in here. Exhale again. Nod the head around the spine up. Abdominal curl. Pause to hold. Inhale in. Exhale, round yourself right back down. Inhale in here. Exhale again. Nod the head around the spine up. Abdominal curl. Inhale to hold. Exhale, round yourself right back down. Here we go. Deep inhale in here. Exhale. Nod the head around the spine up. Abdominal curl. Scoop the belly in. Keep the pelvis where it is. Now, without moving your knees from side to side, twist towards the right. May not be very big, that's fine. Get that other shoulder blade off the mat. Come back to center. Twist towards the left. Keep that left shoulder blade off the mat. Come back to center. Twist towards the right. Keep the pelvis stable, knees stable. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist through the left. And center, twist to the right. It's true. And center, twist to the left, superstars. Come back to center, pause here. Round yourself up one more inch. You got it, inhale in here. Exhale, round yourself right back down. Pause here, let's keep the hands where they're at. Draw the right leg to tabletop. Flip the left leg up to meet it, so squeeze those inner thighs together. Here we go. Take a deep inhale in here. Exhale, nod the head, round the spine up to your curl. Now just gently point your feet. This comes from the thighs. Try not to straighten out your legs too much. It's a small range of motion. On the exhale, send toes and thighs forward, so drifting directly forward to an imaginary bullseye. Bring the knees back over the hip sockets. Send toes and thighs forward. Bring them back in. As you send toes and thigh bones forward, scoop the belly deeply. Inhale right back in. Send toes and thigh bones forward. Come back in. One more time. Toes and thigh bones forward. Bring it back in. Round yourself down. Keep those legs there, please. Deep inhale in here. Exhale again. Nod ahead. Round spine up to your bell curl. Pause and hold. Now, you can keep the shape of the leg very constant. Try not to bend the knee anymore. One leg at a time. Reach the right toe down towards the mat. 
Inhale it back up. Exhale, left toe taps down. Inhale it back up. Exhale, right toe taps down. Inhale up. Exhale, left toe taps down. Inhale up. Exhale, right toe taps down. Inhale up. Exhale, left toe taps down. Inhale up. Exhale, right toe taps. Inhale up. Exhale, left toe taps. Inhale up. Pause. Round yourself right back down. Hug those knees into your chest. How's everyone doing? Getting a thumbs up? Awesome. I can't see everyone, so I'm gonna ask that question again just to make sure. Thumbs up. Good, all right. Uh, if you need to pop up, there is a chat included in this, so you can always ask the question. I may not be able to get to it today, uh, at this time. I'll get to it today, though, because I can look at the video. All right, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so with the knees into your chest, you can feel the lower back imprint onto the mat. You're gonna keep that imprint in sensation. You're gonna bring your legs to a tabletop position. Keep the back imprinted. Keep that interlacing the fingers shape. Place the palms on the skull. Here we go. You'll take a deep inhale in here. Exhale, keep the back flat. Exhale, you're gonna round yourself up. You're gonna curl. We'll just do two of these like this. Inhale, round back down. We're picking up the pace a little bit. Exhale, again, now the head rounds one up. Abdominal curl. Squeeze those inner thighs together the best you can. Inhale, right back down. Here we go. Exhale, round yourself up and extend the legs toward the ceiling. Any amount. Legs might be straight, they might be slightly bent. Totally fine. Bring everything back down as you bend the knees back in. Exhale, round yourself up and extend those legs. Inhale, round back down. And again, exhale, round up and extend those legs. Inhale, round back down. Exhale, round up and extend those legs. Inhale, round back down. Here we go. Exhale, round up and extend those legs to pause to hold. Now, here you're going to flex your feet. Point your feet, thank you, and flex, and point, flex, and point, flex, and point, flex, and point. Now pause, flex the right foot only, and they're gonna paddle through each side. Don't lose your abdominal curl, adjust that curl if you're losing it. Find that same altitude. Keep flexing and pointing, alternating. Then you're gonna point both feet, pause here, reach the fingertips up towards the toes, not by the hips, up towards the toes. Here we go, eight pulses up, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Try to touch your toes without bringing your toes towards your face. You try to reach up from those abdominals and those hands, hug the knees into your chest, roll yourself down. Look right, look left, sway the knees from side to side. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna move on to the 100. A very common exercise in Pilates. I'm gonna give a quick tutorial, and I'm gonna go right into it, and then I'm gonna pop up and check you guys out, giving you some uh, cues and adjustments if necessary. So let's start with feet onto the floor. So if we've explored that abdominal curl, so this is just our prep for it. So reach the arms up toward the ceiling, palms face forward. On the exhale, you're gonna round yourself up to your bell curl, press the arms down. So you're gonna hover above the mat about a quarter of an inch. Pause here, just start to pump those arms. Like you're tapping an imaginary pool of water underneath your hand. So it's not a huge pump, just about hip height, a little bit lower, never touching the ground. As you do this, you can inhale through the nose percussively. Exhale through the mouth percussively. And that'll be a five count. And Pause, round yourself down, hug the knees into your chest. So your position then can be feet flat, legs in tabletop. If you've taken a class with me before, you know where you can go, legs up toward the ceiling or an angle. If this is your first time with me, tabletop or feet flat. Just because I gave percussive breath as an option, maybe you'll just do a continuous breath in and a continuous breath out for a count of five. The count of five matches the pumping of the arms. Here we go, leg position of choice, float the arms up toward the ceiling, deep inhale in here. Exhale, round yourself up to your bell and curl. Press those arms down. Here we go to pump and breathe those arms. And in, two. And X, two, three, four, five. And in, two. And X, two, three, four, five. And in, two. And X, two, three, four, five. And in, two. And X, two, three, four, five. Looking good, superstars. And X, two, three, four, five. And in, two. And X, two, three, four, five. And in, two. Annex two, three, four, five. Pumping from the back of the armpits. Annex two, three, four, five. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Annex two, three, four, five. Long firm arms. Annex two, three, four, five. Last set. Annex two, three, four, five. 
three, four, five. To pause and hold for a moment, please. Deep inhale in here, exhale. Roll up two more inches from your abdominals, not the neck, chin, or shoulders. Hold here. Inhale in here, exhale. All the air out. Scoot the belly in, 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 in. Inhale in here, exhale. Smile, because you're here today. Awesome. Hold the knees into your chest. Roll yourself down. After all, it's just Pilates. I understand the 100 gets very serious. Let's also be very thankful that we are here and moving, because that's also awesome. Our body is very present today. All right. From here, let's go ahead and just place those feet flat onto the mat. Knees are bent. All right. Arms are down by your side. You're going to find this functional parallel position between the legs. Again, heels in line with the sits bones, thigh bones pointing straight out of the hip sockets. A little different than yoga, so you don't want your heels all the way close to your sits bones. You want them, the heels to be slightly dropping in front of the line of the crease of underneath the hip, or the knee, excuse me. Again, fine functional parallel position. So, I'm going to have you do a little articulation. We're going to start to move the spine just a little bit, so nothing too big yet. But we're going to use the abdominals mostly, rather than pressing the feet or the quads. Deep inhale here. Exhale, going to sink the belly so deeply that you just input the lower back onto the mat. That's it. That's all you're doing. Inhale here. Exhale, release it back down to a neutral position. Inhale here. Exhale again. Sink the belly, tilt the beer bone, input the lower back. Yeah. Inhale here. Exhale, release it back down to neutral. Inhale here, exhale again, sink the belly, tilt the beautiful, and in from the spine, lower back imprint, scoop the belly in. Now, pause, engage your glutes, press down to the feet, start to roll the pelvis up, rolling up to that articulated bridge. If rolling through the spine isn't your jam here, today, or ever, flat back up. Inhale here, exhale, soften, round yourself right back down. Same rules apply, rolling down if you can, otherwise flat back down. All the way back down to neutral. Deep inhale here. Exhale. Round yourself up. Curl up or flat back up. Find that bridge that works for your knees, hips, shoulders in one long diagonal line, please. Inhale here. Exhale. Round yourself right back down. Reestablish your palace spine back to neutral. Natural curves. Inhale here. Exhale again. Scoot the belly. Curl it down and float yourself up. Press down to those feet. Don't let the toes come off. When knees, hips, and shoulders are in one long line, you're balancing on your shoulder blades, not your neck. So try not to press into an extension of the spine. Inhale here, exhale, right yourself right back down. We're going to move on. Inhale here, exhale again. Scoot the belly, curl the tail, and float yourself up to that bridge. Knees, hips, and shoulders in one long line. Pause. Small range of motion. From your spine, you're going to roll down just about two inches from the vertebra. Then you're going to press the palps back up from the glutes mindfully to that same height, using those glutes and hamstrings as well. Roll down about two. Press the pelvis back up. Roll down about two. Press the pelvis back up. Roll down about two. Press the pelvis back up. One more time. Roll down about two. Press the pelvis back up. Deep inhale in. Exhale. Soften the sternum. Soften the ribcage. Round yourself right back down. We're going through. We're not done. Deep inhale in here. Exhale again. Scoop the belly. Curl the tail. And float yourself up to that bridge. You're going to pause. So hold. Keep the hips level and even. Deep inhale in here. Exhale. Right leg floats up to tabletop. Inhale that foot back down. Exhale, left leg floats up. Inhale it back down. Exhale, right leg floats up. Inhale it back down. Exhale, left leg floats up. Inhale it back down. Exhale, right leg floats up. Pause and hold. Extend the leg up. Bend the leg back in. Extend the leg up. That's it. Bend the leg back in. Place that foot back down. Left leg floats up. Tabletop. Hold and breathe. Find the stability. Left leg extends to your angle, bring the leg back in. So be mindful of your hamstrings. Extend the leg back, up, bend it back in. Place the foot back down, pull the hips up a little bit higher, please. Exhale, soften the sternum, soft the ribcage, round yourself right back down, rolling through all the way back down. Hug those knees into your chest, look from side to side. And then you're gonna transition your hands behind your thighs. Lower legs are gonna be relaxed and folded here. Elbows are wide, a little transition. If this is not your jam, you roll to your side, you come to sitting. Deep inhale in here, exhale. Nod the heads and the thigh bones away, start to roll yourself up. If you get stuck, you just rock and roll to come up, all the way up to sitting. Yeah, yeah, feet flat onto the mat, thank God. That'll be your next class. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna turn around onto your belly. Legs behind you. Arms are by your side, palms face the floor. Yeah, forehead down into mat as long as that feels okay for you and your head and your neck. If you need a different position for your neck, Put your head in line with your spine, but keep the gaze down towards the floor. So try not to see the camera unless you need to see me for a moment. Totally fine. Tops of feet are heavy. Legs are turned down. Arms are by your side. Palms face down on the mat. 
Tone the glutes, press your feet upon to mat, lift the belly up slightly, engage those glutes. Deep inhale in here, exhale much of the foot, your head and upper spine up with those arms. Keep the tops of the feet heavy. Inhale in here, exhale, round yourself right back down. Arms come down. Inhale in here, exhale again, put the head and upper spine up. Arms foot up as well. Inhale in here, exhale, coming right back down. Inhale in here, exhale again, put the head and upper spine up with those arms. Pause and hold here, tiny little pulses of the knuckles up, 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 up. So I can reverse hunter it. Now you're pressing the knuckles towards the ceiling. Yeah. And I'm coming right back down. Here we go. Inhale in here, exhale, flip the head and upper spine up, legs float up as well. Skydiving, everything's up. And then coming right back down. And you're gonna flip head and upper spine up, everything floats up. And coming back down. Head, chest, arms, legs, glutes are toned. And coming right back down. One more time. Head, chest, legs, arms, hold, breathe. Roll the shoulders open. Breathe. Coming right back down. Cross one hand over the other, place the palms onto the mat, forehead in the hands like a pillow. So hands are crossed on the mat, forehead onto the knuckles. From here, you're gonna lift the lower legs off the mat just a little bit. Start to tap the heels together, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Hamstrings, glutes, inner thighs. Kicking in and breathe. Tap, 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 tap. San Francisco ballet moment here. Yeah, everything comes back down. Rock the pelvis from side to side a little bit. Find stillness with the pelvis and the legs. Again, put those lower legs off the mat. It doesn't have to be too high and take tiny swimming legs from the glutes and the thighs and swim. Pelvis stable and swim. And swim. And swim. And swim. And swim. And swim. Tumble the glutes and press your pivot bone into the mat as you swim. Shoulders widen down the back. Keep breathing as you swim. And swim. And swim. And swim. And swim. Relax the legs. Press yourself back to child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. Maybe coming to a seated pose if that works better for you. Whatever works. I'm just taking a gander at my superstars here. Awesome. All right. Deep in home here, exhale. From your child's pose, just float yourself forward to that all fours position again. By neutral. Curl those toes under. Now you're standing onto your toes. Make a fist through the right hand, it's coming. Left, sorry, right fist comes down the mat with the forearm, elbow underneath the shoulder. Left fist, left arm down. Elbows, right underneath the shoulders. Forearms are making the number 11 or in parallel position. One leg goes out, ball of foot remains connected to the mat. Left leg goes out. Stay here, drop the pelvis and line the torso. If this is too much, knees can come back down, but keep the tops of feet or those toes onto the mat if you do that. We're really press here. We're going to rock back and forth for 10. And 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pause to hold. Keep those glutes toned. And gently place those knees back down. Child's pose. Mm hmm. Coming back to an all fours position again. Toes onto the mat. From here, you're just gonna pike your hips up towards the ceiling, downward dog. Right? Pressing strong to those arms. Drop the heels down towards the floor, any amount. Maybe the knees are bent, maybe they're super straight. Find what works today. Finding that downward dog for you. Drop the head, shoulders widen down the back. Deep inhale in here, exhale, start to walk the hands back towards your feet. You might need to bend your knees a lot. Maybe the knees can be straight. Find whatever works. Find a forward fold that works for you. Maybe the hands touch the floor. Maybe the hands go the shins or the thighs. Totally fine. Drop your head. Shake your head gently no. Nod your head gently yes. Find stillness in the neck and the skull. Bend your knees a little bit so perhaps the front lower ribs connect to the thighs. Maybe they don't. Take a deep inhale to the sides and the backs of the ribs. As you exhale, scoop the belly, curl the tailbone, curl that tailbone under, stacking one back bone on top of the other sequentially to come to an upright standing position. Shoulders float down the back, chin becomes parallel to the ground. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Arms come right back down. Arms come up toward the ceiling. You can take a gaze up toward the ceiling. Come right back down. One more time, arms up toward the ceiling. Arms come right back down. Take one hand 
to the chest, one hand to the belly. Maybe close your eyes, keep them open. Find weight into those feet. Find the crown of the head shooting through the ceiling. Keep the eyes closed and drop your arms. Imagine how tall and beautiful you are today. And you are done. Good job, you guys. Good work. I'm gonna mute you for a moment and we'll have a little talk maybe, if I can find my glasses. Hang on, hopefully you're all still there. Here we go. Or maybe not, I'm gonna have to maybe do it all. Here we go, audio. No, give me a moment. I can do this, can I? I don't know. Here we are. Can you unmute yourselves until I can figure this out? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had it done yesterday and I was like, where is it? All right. Okay, no worries. Um, how did everyone do? Awesome. Good, good. Um, would you like more of these? Okay. All right, very good. All right, so. No, I mean, they're, they're gonna have their, I know nothing. <laughs> so just know that I know nothing. Um, so, but please do support them because they need support as well. Um, but uh, so I'll try to do more of this. I might do one more week of half hour, but we'll see. I have another class coming up on Thursday. I have another class with other private class coming up tomorrow. Um, and then we'll just do that. And it's only, it's, I'm gonna try to keep this as affordable as I can. So it's pay as you can. If you want to pay more, you can. If you can't pay anything, it's totally fine. I just put that denomination up there just so we have something to work with. But, great job. If you want to reach out to me, uh, you can certainly email me through studiobampilates.com or at gmail, excuse me.com, or you, know, you can reach out to text because uh, I think I give you all my phone number. Anyway, good to see you all. I'm going to set something up for next week approximately the same time. You're welcome. Yeah, who? Okay, right, so um, <laughs> it was a little, I thought I had a pre-pay option, but it wasn't working. It's a limitation of the software. So you can look for me on Venmo. Do you have Venmo? Okay, if you choose to, you don't have to, but if you choose to, you can Venmo me at Ashby dash or hyphen, not underscore, hyphen Blaine, B-L-A-N-E, can Venmo me there. If you have a problem with that, just get, contact me and we'll work something out. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can, you know, I know I send out a lot of emails, <laughs> but I just, I was, I'm about over communicating than not communicating. So I just want to make sure it was as clear as possible. Again, if you need to reach out to me, please do. You're welcome. I do not have a picture. Um, let me see you, let me see if I can pull you up. Eh, hang on. Yes, that is me, A, B, yeah, perfect. Uh, um, my pleasure, just know it helps my sanity as well to keep doing what I love to do. And um, so you're helping me out, stay sane. <laughs> because you know, here I am in my apartment with my assistant, Marvel, he's really not very helpful. He's just too stiff. He doesn't, he just like watches with a side eye. Anyway, yeah, and if, pardon me? I know, he's, he's a great neutral. <laughs> right, he has a great neutral. And, and feel free to follow me on Instagram or Facebook because um, I'll be making posts about stuff like this. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, bye.